this is Eugene Panrukovich on the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com today we have a Acer C720P Chromebook with a touch screen the Chromebook computer that has a cracked LCD screen and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked LCD screen on the Acer C720P touch screen computer uh, for this model, the touch screen and the LCD screen are different components, so they are separate. And some are they're the same, but for this, they're separate. And so we're going to show you how you replace the LCD screen and not the touch screen. Uh, you can use part of this procedure to replace the touch screen, also, but it's the it's a separate part once again. And the touchscreen version also uses the same LCD screen as the non-touchscreen version, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So let's get started. Before we start, we want to make sure that the laptop is turned off. The Chromebooks, they turn on automatically each time you open them. So we want to make sure that this button is not lit up and the screen is not off. If this laptop is on, the way to turn off is to do a long press of this button. Press it until the screen goes dark. Once it's off, we can get started and I'll show you the tools we're going to need for this procedure. We have a hobby knife or exacto knife with a point and blade and that's to pry open the touch screen to remove the touch, snap open the touch screen. Uh, we have a pair of metal tweezers that's to manipulate cables, remove any screws that may be stuck or to lift up adhesive tape. And finally we have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. Okay, the first order of business to do this is to snap off the screen bezel touch screen assembly. The screen bezel and the touch screen part of it, it's all one part and what we're going to do is snap that off to get to the LCD screen. The way we do that is we find a spot to put the hobby knife to insert it and gently tilt, rock the hobby knife back and forth until we gain some traction and find a place where we can start snapping it off and here we found a place so it seems separated a little bit so this way we go around the seam and separate the front part from the back part and this might take some time and if you get stuck at some point just keep going and then you can come back to the place you're stuck at later so we're gonna go down here Keep moving. Like so. And go to the other side. Okay, this part came off, so we go around the side. And towards the end, when you snap most of it off. Kind of hold the touch screen assembly with your fingers because the screen itself is adhered to the touch screen assembly. And we go tilt the laptop, so lay the laptop on its side so we can get to the bottom. And, and keep going like so. And a couple more things, the sim seam in the hinge covers, we lift that open and on the bottom too and finally on the bottom and that should be enough and once we do that we can gently lift, rock the screen up, lift it up and see if we can get this last part and then tilt the screen, screen forward and lay it down. Uh, right away we see that we have a the video cable, it's kind of tight here so we want to release the video cable next from its catch 
like so. And now help us to lay the screen down in a better position. While you're doing that, make sure you don't press this power button as to turn on the laptop. And if you do, just turn off the laptop again. Okay, the next step is to separate, this is the LCD screen. The next step is to separate the LCD screen from the touch screen assembly. So in order to do that, we need to lift up the adhesive tape and also the webcam on top. And the webcam is attached with the adhesive tape to the screen, so we want to lift it up and out of the way so we can access the screen. And then we also want to disconnect the connector that goes to the screen. To do this, we have to lift up the adhesive tape on the back of the connector and pull it back, being careful not to damage the connector. Okay, so once we pull it back, we want to lift up the back of the connector cable assembly so we can get a good grip. We pull the tape back, grab with our fingers the back of the connector where it's held back and pull it back like so. So I'm going to show you how to reconnect it right now. When you reconnect it, you slide it back in. You feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close up. This is what a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, I'm going to pull it out again, like so, and the screen is free. The next step is we want to separate the screen from the touch assembly, and it's got some adhesive there. And you can use a hair dryer if you want to loosen up the adhesive, or you can just gently lift up the corner of it and just kind of work your way around. So slowly and gently work your way around. It slowly lifts up. This takes some time, but take your time on this. Being careful not to bend that touch screen assembly too much so that that part doesn't break. You can hear the adhesive separating when you do this. Okay, we'll keep going. Okay, there's some adhesive on both sides, so we want to make sure we keep the adhesive on the touch screen side because we, we want to reuse it as much as possible. And we see that there's some, uh, the webcam cable, it's going around the tab around the screen. So we want to make sure that the a webcam cable doesn't impede our taking the screen off. So we deroute the webcam table from the catches so we can have a better access to the side. And we keep, we keep moving around. Gently lifting it, make sure there's nothing catching it. And 
and we see on the bottom, let's rotate, that the cover for the circuit board on the bottom is getting stuck on the adhesive. So we grab with our fingertips and keep lifting it up. I keep separating the screen from the assembly and then we'll go on the other side when you do this make sure you don't touch the inside or try not to touch the inside part of the touch screen because you don't want to leave any fingerprints between the touch screen and the LCD assembly okay we're almost there we can see that the plastic is stuck to the touch screen assembly Okay, we don't care as much about this plastic we're gonna, because we're going to replace the screen anyway. And gently peel it back, making sure to leave the adhesive layer on the touch screen side. And like so. And we finally got it. Okay, so we've separated the screen from the touch screen assembly. Next thing we want to do is line up the adhesive on the touch screen assembly so we can adhere the new screen to it and making sure it's lined up. Okay, so this part's okay now. Let's take a look at the screen. This is a 11.6 inch slim EDP screen. This is the exact same screen that appears in the that is in the non-touch version of this laptop computer, the Acer C720. So let's get the part number for this. It's N116BGE-EA2. That's the part number you need. And once again, I said this is an EDP screen. It almost it looks almost exactly the same as a similar type of screen, except the connector is a little bit bigger. Make sure you have the EDP screen and the part number matches up. Okay, this particular version is also matte, but you can, uh, most of the time, you, you have either, or actually half the time you have matte screens that are sold, and half the times you have glossy screens. So if you specifically want one type or the other, you have to specify it. We sell a mix of 50-50, and we don't specify if we ship the matte or glossy. So uh, it's a matter of personal preferences, and it does not affect the performance. Okay, you can order this screen from us from Screen Surgeons. And to order from us, go to our website at www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out where you give us the laptop model, and then we'll guide you to where to find the screen online. And what you get with us is you have free email technical support when you do the installation. You get this exact same toolkit that I'm using in the video. It comes for free with the screen. It's free shipping in the United States, and we have a two-year warranty on this screen. If you live outside of the United States, uh, you can ship to most countries around the world. Just, just put your country down in the checkout procedure. Okay, once you do get the new screen in, you want to make sure that the adhesive is properly lined up so it doesn't get on the touch screen part. You put the screen down so it's aligned with the adhesive. Then reroute the webcam cable on top of the screen and attach it with adhesive tape to the back of the screen. Then reconnect the connector as I showed you and then moving it closer, reroute the video cable through the plastic catch when you're lifting it up, and then gently lift it up and snap the whole assembly back, and that's it, you should be done. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrinkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. 
Thank you very much and good luck.